CBSE has recently issued a notification regarding the final dates of practical for the session 2020 to 2021. You might have your final board practical exams from the first week of January. Now I'm not sure whether they are actually going to commence or no. Still, we need to be complete with the practicals and because I have been facing so many questions and inquiries, this session deals with the general instructions for the remaining part of the practicals. We have already discussed a few practicals in the first part. Now this is part 2 of the home science practical file for class 12. It is according to the new syllabus. Now as per the new syllabus, the scheme of the practical exam was already discussed in the previous video. Now if you have not, if you don't remember it, just go back to it and I'll send you the link in this I. It includes 5 marks for project, 5 marks for second question, that was modification of diet and planning for elderly, third was adulteration card test and we had completed all these. Now in this video, I am going to cover the remaining 3 questions that is prepare a sample using textile design techniques, removal of stains and preparation of a pamphlet. Besides this, one more practical is there which I will be discussing. Now, if you don't remember it, please go back and see the previous video. These are the practicals we'll do now. Now, these four practicals, the this will be seventh practical, six we have already discussed. It is regarding the preparation of articles using applied textile design techniques. Here, we'll be dealing with three techniques that is tie and dye, batik and block printing. It's not necessary to make samples of all these three and it's not necessary to make an article. You can also make samples for all these three techniques or as per the uh, instructions of your ma'am, you can only use one technique. It depends. Uh, for this session at least, I think you can go in with only one sample using any one of these techniques. As per the NCRT book, this whole of the practical is as per the NCRT book. As per the NCRT books, these practicals are given on the page 229 to 231. The remaining pages are as such, 290 to 292. You can refer the book for the written part. The eighth question would be care and maintenance of fabrics, that is the removal of stains. Ninth question, evaluation of advertisement for a given position. So now you see this was not included in the final paper of the practicals but you have to write it down in the practical file okay. This chapter was also deleted from your syllabus but the practical was not included. So you can do it in your practical file and this is also very important for your life. Even if it is not included in the paper it's going to be very useful in your exams and post exams in your life. And you must have covered it in your English syllabus also. It would be a good revision. Now the last practical is a preparation of a leaflet or the pamphlet. The pages are given. Now I'll start with the instruction. Just remember this would be a little long video. So if it becomes very long, I might break it into two parts. So first we begin with the design techniques which includes bandage and batik along with block printing. It really looks a very rich uh, slide, isn't it? It's so colorful and it is just an impression of the rich textiles in our country. So India is one of the richest country in the terms of textile art. So fabric and apparel, this is the unit. This is practical number seven. The objective of this practical is preparation of an article using applied textile design technique. So you have to do three textile design techniques and the task here is to learn the different techniques of tie and dye. So we will be dealing with tie and dye. You can see these samples. You must have seen them. They are very popular in India. Now the theory part that this is one of the oldest form of resist dyeing. What do we mean by resist dyeing? Resist ka matlab hota hai? To stop, to obstruct. Resist dyeing that is dyeing by restricting some part. So the part which is restricted, the color or dye will not enter it and the part which is not restricted, it will get the color you are dyeing it. So you will get the print as per the resist. Now this resist material, it can be thread, it can be the pieces of fabric, it can be clay and wax 
and anything that offers physical resistance to the dye. Now, if you see this sample, so this white and yellow dots, they are because they must have been tied. Now, when we talk of tie and dye, it is a technique in which the areas in the pattern are resisted by means of tightly wound thread. So, the resist material here is thread. And then after winding it, it is dipped into the dye. Now, the resisted area, it retains the original color of the ground. Now, suppose this is my fabric. Okay. Now, I want to make a design of a circle. So, what will I do? I will tie it with thread. When I dip it, what will happen? Suppose now I dip it in yellow color. So, when I dip it in yellow color, the rest of the fabric will become yellow like this. The part which is tied, it will be white. Okay. So, this is the pattern of uh, tie and dye, concept of tie and dye. Now, the pattern in bandhage are, there, there can be innumerable dots like the first pattern. This is of innumerable dots. Ye jo aapko design dikh hai, this is not a print, it is dots. And you can have leheria that is diagonal lines which is visible in the second pattern. And mostly it is produced or it is the art of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Okay. Now, what is the purpose behind learning this, this practical that we should all know the rich heritage of India. So, here we are going to learn the concept of tie and dye and all the processes, not all, there are at least 12 to 15 and every day you have a new technique, you can have various uh, variations in the techniques. So, the various techniques will be understanding them. Now, the process is first you have to do the preparation. You need some things, you will need the dye, you will need the pattern. You have to decide upon the technique which you are going to use. You will see that we have many techniques. Decide upon the technique and the tools. You will be making use of thread, whether you need a thin thread, a uh, mota thread, uh, what is it that you are going to tie in between, whether it is pulses, all pins. There are so many things. Then the second thing after deciding the pattern and the technique, you have to tie the fabric as per the design. Then after tying it very tightly, just remember this tying has to be very tight. If it is loose, what will happen? The color will get inside and the design would not be clear. Then you have to immerse it in, immerse it in the dye. Now see, they have dyed it. Now after this, what you have to do? Rinse it. Rinse it of all the dye. And you can also make use of a fastener to make the colors very fast and dry it. After drying it, you can repeat it for new colors. Just say, if this is my design, just for your understanding, ye mera design hai, and I want some part of it to remain yellow. Suppose this hole is, I dye the whole fabric as yellow. This is all yellow. Now what I do is I tie some part of it is, I tie some of it, okay. Now the part which I tie is this, okay. And I dip it in uh, red color. What would be the next thing? Itna part chhodke jo baki kapda hai that would be red. Kyunki I tied it very tightly. So ye jitna bhi baki hai fabric, it will all be red. And this design would be yellow. Now I want to tie it, dye it in another color. So what will I do? I will again tie it. Maine yahan pe tie kar diya and I tie it here. In the next step, what will happen? Now suppose I tie it in blue. So is part ko chhod kar, besides the part which I have dyed, the whole of the dupatta or whatever article I have used, it will be blue. And see, this type of article would be with you yellow, red and blue. I hope you have understood. Let's proceed. Now, to resist, you can make use of things like chana, pulses and coin. Depending upon the thing you are using, the circle or the design would vary. You can also make use of threads of different thickness. Jitna mota thread lenge, lines utni moti aengi. And the material itself you can also make use of the material itself. How? I'll just tell it to you in the next slide. The, some of the techniques. The first one is knotting and this is perhaps the simplest and the easiest. What you have to do is, see this example, you just have to tie a knot. This You, you can tie a knot like this, 
knot like this there are many ways of tying the knots see here also you have tied a knot i have there there are five knots 1 2 3 4 and 5 by tying these five knots very tightly this is the design you get on the fabric i have drawn made use of the fabric also so that you are able to understand how we make use of these uh styles to color the fabric and to design it now the best results are achieved on fine fabrics if the fabric is thin the knot would be very tight and so the effect would be nice and it creates circular pattern see here also it is circular pattern here also it is a circular pattern the next technique is marbling now marbling can be achieved in two ways the first one is the fabric is gathered you can gather it in any way and it is turned into a ball jaise hum paper ko kai baar crush kar dete hain na to usi tarah se you can crumple it and turn it into a ball and tie it either in all directions uh, jitna kam color aap chahte hain utna zyada aap tie kar denge and the more you the darker color you want you can tie it less till it becomes a solid mass for example in this first one the tying is less in the second one the tying is more the second method method is the fabric is twisted and coiled lengthwise to create a marbling effect so here it was turned into a ball and the second example is where you tie it lengthwise and the effect is like this you can see in the socks the marbling effect is lengthwise now the effects can vary depending upon the tying and the impact is like of an irregular cloud you can see it here jitna aap zyada tie karenge usi tarah se hoga you can also create multicolored background you can tie it in the first color just as me yellow hai then you can use the darker color and still darker color and later this can also be used as a background after this you can make make use of such a background for printing dyeing block printing and anything that you feel like and have a more definite pattern so finally the socks and the shorts these are all marble the next technique is binding as it is very clear from the name here we are going to bind it so binding means that certain part of the fabrics are bound very tightly with thread before dyeing so here if you see the tying has been done in lengthwise in straight lines you have folded the fabric and then tied dekho as this is the effect you have tied it in different parts or you can tie it like this you can keep something in between and then tie it with a thread okay or thread se tie karne ke baad when you dye it kya hoga jahan par aapne thread se bandha tha no color will enter and the rest of the part would be colored so it can be done in form of a dot a band a line criss cross or a spiral jis tarah ka bhi aap cheez tie karenge wahi design aa jayega jaise yahan par ye sare circles these are of different forms here you can make use of something bigger it could be a chana then you can make use of pulses or a simple all pin to make a design then there are two kinds of designs also the first is leheria where you have stripes these stripes can be diagonal stripes straight stripe or circles see here i have tied it jaisa aapne yahan par tie kiya hai is wali picture mein if you tie it like this you will get broad leheria and if you tie it like this very narrow dots may very narrowly you will get like stripes like this this is leheria and the second one is bandhej this can be very elaborate like i told you here bandhej you have tied it in small pieces so the print it is full of dots depending upon what you are tying inside the size of the circle can be bigger for example ho sakta hai yahan par chane ka use kiya ho ya coin ka use kiya ho the bigger thing which is being used as a tool the bigger the circle and if you make use of small pins or something like that you will get a very detailed pattern the next one is trithik or sewing this is pretty simple very simple the fabric is sewn with a needle using simple tacking stitches along a pattern so sim this is simple kantha or kachcha tanka but the thread has to be very strong aur jo bhi aapka pattern hai whatever pattern you have decided you just make a uh, tacking with a thread which is very strong it could be circles you can see here you are making lines and then the strong thread is then used to make a large knot in the beginning to jab aap shuru karte ho tacking make a large knot so that it doesn't come out then pull it tightly so that the cloth is gathered closely jaise hum frill banate hai na ya gathers dalte hain usi tarah se pull the thread very tightly and again when you have pulled it 
finish it with a knot again so that all the gathers are held together and tie it very tightly so that none of the no dye can enter the patterns are created they are full of pleasing bands of dotted texture of various shapes for example here you can see a flower so yahan par jo tacking ki hogi it would be in shape of flowers and you can see there are two lines similarly here it would have been triangles तो इसमें आपको डॉटेड लाइंस मिल जाएंगी एंड दिस इज़ वेरी सिंपल जस्ट यूजिंग पैकिंग स्टिक स्टिच एंड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग थ्रेड द नेक्स्ट इज फोल्डिंग फोल्डिंग इट कैन बी ऑफ मेनी फॉर्म्स या तो हम कपड़े को वैसे फोल्ड कर सकते हैं जैसे हम घर में उन्हें नॉर्मली आफ्टर वॉश फोल्ड करते हैं वी कैन फोल्ड इट लाइक दिस ऑल्सो जैसे हम फैन uh, बनाते हैं ना बच्चे वी कैन फोल्ड इट लाइक दिस और वी कैन फोल्ड इट लाइक दिस जैसे हम कपड़े फोल्ड करते हैं and after folding you can tie it in different patterns see here it has been horizontally tied here it is a circle yahan par aap dekho kitni tarah ka fold kiya it is one long stripe and it has been folded at five different places to get a different pattern to hold the folds binding or clipping is done either you can bind it using a thread or a cloth ya fir you can also make use of clips jo hamare kapde dhone ka clip hai aap kai baar use bhi use kar sakte ho any kind of clip and the pattern which you get is symmetrical stripes bands or squares ye depend karega ki aapne kis pattern mein bandha hai jaise you can see the various effect of tying if you make use of simple bands like this this is the effect agar aap isko this is one long strip is strip ko if you fold it again in this pattern this is what you get if you make use of clips and make it into a square this is the pattern which you get so this is this effect is best obtained in thick materials as the fabric itself ever forms the resist when you fold it inside out you can see the outside you get the pattern and the inside the fabric itself stops the dye from getting inside just have a look at this question and this can also be used as a background for block printing or embroidery now you have got little little squares all around you can make it for block printing you can make small embroidery sections etc now that was all with tie and dye you will be making all the techniques or usme make small samples either you can make one big article in a group it will depend upon the instructions you have got otherwise you can make five small samples the samples would not be very small otherwise the design would not be clear so make use of samples you can make the samples and stick them in the file always take all the designs on the left hand side that is plain and write up will be done on the ruled sheets now the next technique is batik here the preparation of article is to be done making use of the tech, uh, design technique which is the technique of batik so what is the task to learn the technique of batik the purpose that batik is also a resist printing earlier we made use of thread as a resist but here the resist is applied by application of wax on the fabric now you know the dye or water cannot enter through wax so the obstruction is given through the wax the dyeing has to be done in cold so that the wax does not melt and if the wax melts the dye will definitely get inside and define the coloration to the unwaxed area jahan par wax nahi hai the dye would enter that area so selective application of wax and redyeing it allows large variety of colors you can apply wax on one dip it in the next dye apply wax dip it in the next dye now the beauty of batik lies in the cracks which develop in the wax and the dye gets into the cracks and the effect is just मार्वलेस एज यू कैन सी इन दीज डिजाइन अगर आप इस साड़ी को देखो तो इसका जो बेस है देर इज नो डिजाइन एक्सेप्ट द क्रैक्स इन द वैक्स नथिंग एल्स हैज बीन डन स्टिल इट्स लुकिंग सो ब्यूटिफुल द पर्पज इज टू लर्न द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बाटिक एंड टू लर्न द प्रोसेस ऑफ बाटिक बाय प्रिपेयरिंग एन आर्टिकल नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसीजर दीज आर द बाटिक कलर्स दीज आर ऑल्सो नोन एज आइस कलर्स और द कोल्ड कलर्स first the fabric must be free from all the grease and dirt it's it is there for all the kinds of dyes then you have to stretch it on the frame for easy drawing if you stretch it on the frame chahe wo aapka block printing ho drawing ho fabric painting ho it's always easy and then you have to apply the wax now the uh, for the application of wax two main kinds of wax are used that is the paraffin wax or the bees wax paraffin wax is light and it is easily removed whereas bees wax is darker and more adhesive type now paraffin wax is easily removed whereas bees wax is not 
so whenever you have to give the cracks you can combine both of them in different proportions depending upon how many cracks you want see the effect of cracks in this picture it's all full of cracks so application of wax is done with normal brushes but the bristles should be of normal hair so that nylon or thermoplastic nahi as soon as you put them in heat they will uh, they will uh, stick so make use of simple brushes then apply the wax onto the fabric with any of the following techniques here we are going to discuss four techniques the first is painting or outline jaise aap pehle wale mein dekh rahe ho is picture mein making use of the brush only the outlines are waxed ab is outline ko wax karke what will happen the outline would be of the base color and rest of the part would be colored dried or the second one is painting on the other area jaise second wali picture mein the person is leaving the flowers and painting whole of the other area what will happen the the background would remain white whereas these flowers they would be colored in the next shade the second te third technique second is outlining first is painting third is dry brushing here what you do make use of dry brush and make use of the wax wax bahut zyada quantity mein na ho aur jab dry effect doge to kahin par wax aayega and some of the part would be left so it will give a shaded effect the third is scratching scratching of the design is done with the back of a pen or a brush jaise aapne pure pe wax laga diya now you make you have to make the outlines so rather than putting wax on it what you do is you scrape away the wax from the area you don't want to get the color in so scrap karke aap usko nikal denge to jitna part scrap hoga us pe you will get the dye and so these outlines would be printed and the rest would be of the base color the wax should reach both sides of the material and that is why wax has to be applied on front and the back agar aap ek hi side lagaoge to obviously dye ho jayega fabric dye the fabric at temperature below 35 degree centigrade with ice colors or batik colors aur hard kam pe karenge tabhi to wo wax stick karega usse remove kaise karenge the simplest way is ki fabric ko dry kariye and after drying it pack it well so that water doesn't get inside and then freeze it when you freeze it the wax is frozen and you can easily scrap it out by crushing the fabric the fa wax will come off and whatever wax is remaining you can hot press it between the layer of absorbent paper or the newspaper and all the remaining wax would be absorbed by the paper and then you can wash it with hot water cotton pe hum karenge so you can wash it with hot water the wax would all come out it would bleed Now the third technique is the block printing the theme here is also to prepare an article using this textile design technique which is block printing in this part now the theory of block printing is it is also one of the oldest methods of application of design so you can see all these blocks in blocks mein kya hota hai agar aapne bachpan mein if you have made videos of vegetable printing printing with potato uh, veg uh, lady finger to usme bhi kya hota hai jaise lady finger aisi aati hai usme इस तरह का आपका डिजाइन आ जाता है तो हाउ जो आउटलाइंस हैं दे आर प्रिंटेड सिमिलरली हेयर द आउटलाइंस या जो भी पार्ट आपको कलर करना है दिट इज रेस्ड एंड द पार्ट विच डज नॉट हैव टू बी कलर इज इन साइड द अदर पार्ट इज इम्बॉस्ड सो वी हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ सेपरेट ब्लॉक फॉर ईच कलर वन ब्लॉक कैन बी यूज ओनली फॉर वन कलर द ब्लॉक्स आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन सच अ वे दैट द डिजाइन एरिया इज रेस्ड ओके and the background area which is not to be printed is carved away to jo bhi area mein we don't want the design that is carved away it is at a lower level to jab bhi hum print karenge to jo upar area hai that would get printed most blocks are made of wood but sometimes metal is used to reinforce the design so that the blocks do not break blocks may have single motif border or overlord pattern up to you might have seen kai bar uh, even the mehndi is applied by these blocks but basically the blocks were meant for printing on the fabric now they can be single motif border all over lord pattern the purpose is to learn the concept of block printing and finally to learn the process and prepare an article using block printing let's understand the process the colors and the wooden blocks they are all available in the market very easily available you can buy it from any stationery shop attach the fabric firmly to the table so that its movement is prevented whenever you are doing block printing it is very important to have the fabric attached wo maine aapko batik mein bhi bataya tha it's always good to uh, frame it okay now lightly press the blocks on the printing tray this is the printing tray if you can see and it has 
something like a foam below it and it has a dyeing paste on a sponge base. Why do you need the sponge? So that you can dip the block into it. Now press the block on the surface with a pressure to force color on the uh, fabric. So now you will color it, dip it in the uh, printing tray. Now you have the color on the outside. Then put it on the fabric like this as per your design and the block would be printed on the fabric. Whenever you have to make use of multicolored blocks, start printing the outline block in the dark color. Start with the dark color and then print with the filling blocks in lighter colors. Like now you can see here, this is multicolored. So the first color which was used was the outline color. Then the person has made use of dark blue color. And finally, the printing is done with the yellow color. So here, how many blocks do you would you require? Three blocks. Now leave the fabric to dry and hot presses on the wrong side by pressing the dye would be fixed to the fabric fast.